it looks like this so it holds the test tube and then if you want you can kind of make it so that when it hangs on the wall this pushes on the wall and it stays like this so first I make the bottom part something to hold the test tube up so it won't fall through so I just like curl it together and then it's a lot easier if you have pliers or something like needle nose pliers but I don't even have that so just do it and keep curling it around to the bottom and you just want to keep going till it's about the same width or a little bit wider than the bottom of the test tube and I'll show you why in a sec so I'm keeping going still you can see my thing and then it's getting almost big enough but I want to get it to be big enough so that when I push up right here it kind of glides up along the test tube so I'm gonna go a little wider Let's see, maybe this is going to be enough. And you can also cut like a big length off of your wire thing if it's not easy to work with your wire like sitting there. But I just don't like to do that because I have no idea how much I'm going to need. Okay, now this is wide enough. See? So, I'm going to like... I actually have my chin right here so that I can get a better grip and I'm pulling up on this and looking like okay cool be gentle so you don't break the glass your test tube might be thin or something but yeah now that it's kind of around here I'm gonna shape it tighter and then this part is kind of the hardest part at the beginning here, but you're going to start twisting so that you make a longer spiral that's going to keep going around the test tube. Can you see that? And you can, we're, we're going to like space this out in a little bit. Keep it twisting. Okay, and then when the coil is getting thicker, you can see if you pull, pull it up, you can start to kind of stretch it and see where you want it to be. Like, see how wide you want it. So I kind of like that width. Pull up on the next one. Pull up on the next one, see? Pull up on the next one a little bit. So I need to keep going because that's not really high enough. All right, let's see how much we got now. Alright, almost there. A little bit more. Alright, yep. That's basically tall enough. So now, I'm going to bend it at a right angle from the glass. Like that. You're going to want to decide how much length that you want. And if you don't know, just go for extra longer. Ow. And we're going to fasten the hook part. Or fashion the hook part that will go against the wall. So let's see. Well, imagine how far you want it away from the wall. Don't go too far because it wants it needs to support its own weight. But like... It, an inch or two is pretty cool looking. Uh, and then I'll go another 90 degree up. And then say, like, figure out 
where do you want it to hang from the wall so I think it's kind of cute for it to be a little bit lower than where it's fastened so I'm gonna bend do another bend here like to, you're gonna make an eyelet little thingy to hang on the wall from all the way around If you can see that. And I'm just gonna wrap this wire back around down where it came from, all the way around to this right angle bend. And you can fix up the angles like at the end. It's okay if they get messed up while you're going for it. But now that you have the main hook, depending on the strength of your wire and, and the weight of what you're gonna put in here, this might be enough. But if you really wanna fortify its ability to hang parallel to the wall, okay, this is what I do. Let me see, how does this work? So we just wanna make some type of shape that will press up against the wall so i'm just gonna do like a spiral because that's the easiest thing i'm gonna take this out of here so i don't drop it and make a little spiral that will be sitting parallel against the wall okay cool now we got the spiral now let's see we're gonna do a bend right here boom and now let's see just get everything lined up and if you need the help of an actual surface or wall to flatten things well I don't know just do it that's a good way to do it and then get all your angles sorted and then test it out on the wall Let's see if it works. Yeah, so now we'll hang on the wall and be like a little bit away from the wall. <laughs>